Hello, good evening, guys. Hello, good evening. Welcome, welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Como estuvo el día? How was your day? Nice. Nice. Okay. Nice. That's good to know, Amalia. <laughs> it's shopping. Oh. It's or more. <laughs> When shopping, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, good for you. <clears throat> okay, well, guys, today's class is the class number. Do you remember what number is this class? There is, there are. Okay, that was the topic of yesterday's class, yes, but do you remember the number of this class? I think it's oh. seven. Yes, it's class number seven. Oh. Yes, very good. Class number seven. <clears throat> okay, so in a moment, I will share with you the class presentation. Just give me one moment because I want to do something here. <clears throat> oh, but I can't. I don't know why. Good. So, yes, class number seven. Almost the middle of the course. We are almost in the middle. Okay, I will share with you the class right away. Can you see it? Can you see the class presentation? Yes, teacher. Sure. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So today we are going to learn about jobs and occupations and WH questions. It's Friday, June 2nd, 2023, class number seven. And well, guys, today is a special day because it's a four is celebrating 30, the 30th anniversary of their creation. And remember that. Thanks to INSAFOR, you have the opportunity to be in this class, right? You have the opportunity to learn English with Inglés Corporativo. So it's a special day, okay? <laughs> and well, we have two objectives for this class. I need one person to read the two objectives. Two volunteer or one volunteer. Carlos, okay, Carlos Garcia. Uh, lesson objectives. By the end of the class, you will learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you will also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when asking simple present. WH questions. Yes, thank you so much, Carlos. Yeah, those are the lesson objectives for this class. And before we start, I need to take the attendance. So please say present or here when I mention your name. Alba Romero Lara. Alba Yosanin Romero. Alba Yosanin. It's not today connected. Okay, maybe present. later. Oh, she's present. Thank you, Alba. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Amalia Tobar de Perez. Present. Thank you. Ana Julia Flores de Cetino. Present. Thank you. Anderson Emanuel Palomo. Arely Janet Cornejo. Present, oh. teacher. Thank you, Arely. Brenda Elizabeth Dimas. Present. Thank you. Briseida Yanet Garcia. <clears throat> Present. Thank you. Yarisa. I'm here, teacher. Good. Carlos Adolfo Garcia. Present, teacher. Good. Carlos Manuel Velázquez. Um, Carolina Elizabeth Garcia. Not present today. Okay. Selina Yasmin Perez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Selina. Cindy Fabiola Molina. 
Claudia Carolina Cruz. Presente. Aquí Claudia Cristian Josué Leiva Fuentes. Presente. Cristian Daniel Enrique Ayala. Oh, nice. So you are present today. Daniel Quijano Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel Quijano. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. Present teacher. Eduardo Enrique Vázquez García. Eduardo Enrique. Elsa Noelia Portillo Chacón. Erika Noemi Hueso Gutiérrez. Present. Erika. Stephanie Adaí García Ángel. Presente. Evelyn Janine Rivera Magaña. Present. Fátima Jocelyn Portillo de Rodas. Present. Thank you, Fátima. Gabriel Isaac Guevara Paredes. Present. Gerardo Arturo Guzmán. Present. Gabriel Alexandra López. Ay, Gabriel Alexandra López no la había mencionado. Gabriel Alexandra. Gerardo Arturo Guzmán. Present. Ok. Thank you. Jacqueline Beatriz Vigil Sánchez. Present. Present. Jacqueline Beatriz. Present. Ok. Pues, sí, pero ya entiendo. Sí. Present. Thank you. José Heriberto Durán. Present. Thank you, Mr. Durán. Okay. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Thank you for connecting on time. Thank you so much. Good. So we have the following agenda. We have a lot of activities. I hope that we can cover all of them. We have the recording previous class. It's a review. Then we have jobs and occupations, WH questions placement of or position of adjectives and work. Let's start with the recalling previous class or recalling previous knowledge to see what you already know about the topic. Good. So I have some questions here and I need your opinions. You can open your microphone and give your opinion. Okay. The first question is, what jobs do you like? Remember, participation is very important in the English class. What jobs do you like? Well, I like to be a teacher. What jobs do you like? Cashier. Oh, and it says cashier. Okay, good. Cashier. Jeannie, what jobs do you like? I love the administration. Business administrator, okay. Selena? I'm a salesperson, teacher. Salesperson, okay, good. Jose, what jobs do you like? For example, I like actress. I'm not an actress, but it's a job I like. Or also, um, um, oh, I forgot this. Or designer, for example, a designer, a home designer, a gardener, a chef. Okay, now next question. What jobs do you work hard? What jobs do you work very hard? An engineer? Well, no, no. Could be, yes. They think a lot. Well, you can see, for example, in this picture. This picture. Uh, waiters. Yes, waiter and waitress. Waiter and waitress work very hard, right? 
activities. Yes, other jobs in which you work very hard. I think uh, the other work hard is a police officer. Because police officer. some days working 24 hours or 48 hours. It's one one. Okay. Yes, could be. Other jobs? Oh, uh, the nurses. The nurse. nurses. The doctors in the hospitals. Doctors, okay. Doctors, too. Yes. Babysitter with the children. Yeah. The, pol the policeman. The policeman. Policeman, yeah. Policeman. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What about uh, the albañil? Yes, Mason. Mason. Albañil. Mason or construction workers. Construction workers. Agricultor. Farmer. あ、ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。ファーメル。
A sculpture. Yes, it's a sculpture. Sculpture. Did you see that guy? Sculpture. Other people that use a lot of physical efforts are carpenters. Carpenters, right? Carpenters. Okay. What jobs do you see on day? Uh, uh, secretary. Secretary. Call center. Call center agents. Call center employees. Bus drivers. Employee. Bus drivers. The bus drivers. How did you do? Nurse. No, nurses don't sit. Doctor. Doctor. Okay, some doctors. Not all of them, but some doctors sit. How do you sit? Huh? They, they sit all day. How do you say? Uh, business administrator. Business administrator, business person. The contact. Accountant, yes. Lawyers, maybe. How do you say? Secretary. Secretary. Okay. What, what jobs do you stand up for? Security work. Excuse they me? are all day stand up. Stand Policemen, up. police officers, soldiers. Factory employees. Factory employees. Pilot. Employees. Security. The pilot, the waitress, waiter and waitress. Yes. Well, also teachers. In person, teachers. In person, teachers. We have to stand up, right? But virtual, yes, online we sit. Online we sit, but in person we stand up. Vigilante. Security person. Security. Security, security person. Yes. Nurse. Very nice. Now, guys, you will help me to complete each category with the people who work in these places. We have the hospital, we have the bank, the office, restaurant, school, supermarket, on the street or outside. So you're going to help me to complete this chart with the people who work in these places mm -hmm. in the hospital people who work in the hospital nurse doctors doctors but different doctors security person yeah. how do you say anesthetist surgeon geologist Ajá, Employees, eh, gente que hace limpieza y... Janitor. Janitor. Janitor, conserje o cleaning person. Radiólogos. Secretary. Ah, secretary. Ok, secretary. Radiólogos. Cardiologist. Radiólogos también. Cirujanos, teacher. Sorry. Ciru cirujanos. Pediatrician, surgeon, pero búscalo en inglés y díganme en inglés. Surgeon. Surgeon, cirujano, surgeon. 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 Pediatrician. 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 Ok. People who work in the hospital now. People who work in the bank. Cashier. Cashier. Secretary. Executive. Mm -hmm. Security person. Security Manager. person. Manager. Counter. Mm -hmm. Counter. Business. Business administrator. Receptionist. Manager. Manager, yes. And the cleaning person, right? In the office. Cleaning in the office. Um, secretary. Working offices. 
security word? Accountant. Administrator. Lawyers also work in office, right? Lawyers. Cleaning person. Excuse me? Cleaning person. Okay, cleaning person too. Programmer. Receptionist. Computer programmer. Eh, soporte técnico, el IT support. Information technology support. Informer. Security person. Receptionist. Receptionist. Engineer. Engineer, yeah. Engineer. Restaurant. People who work in the restaurant. The chef. Waiter. Waiter. Chef. Oops. Chefs. Waiter. Manager. Cooks. Manager, accountant, the waiter, waiter, waitress, <coughs> security person, too. White We can also have host, the person who is like uh, at the at the entrance, and it's there, and it tells you where to sit. That is called host. Uh, mm -hmm. Not sure. Right there. Here, yes. Sure. And cleaning person too, right? Very important, this person. People who work in the school. Teachers. 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 Students. <laughs> but they don't work. They go to school. Students. Students. The student. the Secretary. Principal. It's called principal. Okay. The director is not director. It's principal. Principal. Pardon. Coordinators. Secretary. 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 Cleaning person. Last room. Last room. Secure person. Okay. We can put here the, um, the school driver, the school bus driver. <laughs> A fixing person. Excuse me? Fixing person uh, for repairing things or in ma maintenance, 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 yes, maintenance, ordinance, maintenance or janitor, ordinance, maintenance. Or janitor. Okay, supermarket people who work at the supermarket, cashier, cashier. <laughs> yes. Assistant. Security. Manager. Okay, manager, security person. Supervisor. Supervisors. Cleaning person. Security ward. Uh, security per. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or car when you change. Cleaning person. <sighs> Teacher, uh, the the people uh, that show you the product, uh, the name is displays. Displays, yes. Mm -hmm. This person, the controller. Uh-huh, I don't understand what do you say. Butcher, butchers. Yes, very nice. Butchers. Butchers. Yes, butcher. And also bakers because yes. so bakers. Uh, oh, um, and the people of uh, vegetables and fruit. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I was looking for um, this word. Grocer. The grocer, yes. El bodega. Um, okay, baker, grocer. Uh, people who work on the street or outside. Police, police officer. Mm -hmm. The soldiers. A salesperson. Farmers. Okay, farmers. Reporters. Right, the reporters. In this case, uh, bus drivers, no? Yes. Yes. Or taxi drivers or Uber drivers. Mm -hmm. Fisherman. Farmer. Excuse me? Farmer. Yeah, it's here, farmer. Be careful. Okay. Biker or biker. Taxi driver. Mason. Uh -huh. Mason. Okay, Mason. Over. Or construction workers. Taxi driver. Uh -huh. It's there. Uh -huh. Street seller. Yeah. The street seller, yes. Oh, these people are very important. We need them every day. Garbage collector. Veterinary. Could be. The garbage collector. We need these people, right? Because if not, there is a problem. Farmer? Farmer, yes. <coughs> Good. Okay, so we have all these people. A lot of occupations, right? A lot of different jobs. Yours. Many, many jobs. Very nice. Thank you for helping me. Uh, oops, sorry, excuse me. Good. So now, in the next slide, we are going to learn, guys, about what does each member of your family do? When I ask you the question, what do you do? What do you do? It means, what is your job? For example, if I ask you, if I ask Daniel, Ayala. Daniel, what do you do? What do you do? I am a teacher. What do you do? Uh, I, I study English. I am a student. I am student. a student. I am a student. I am a student. Uh -huh. Okay, if I ask you, Carlos Adolfo, what do you do? I am a salis person. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, Erika Hueso. What do you do, Erika? Hello, Erika. <laughs> okay, what about Briseida? Briseida y Arisa, what do you do? Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, how do you say assistente? Assistant. I'm an assistant. Oh. Okay, personal assistant, good. Uh, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Beatriz, what do you do, Jacqueline? Jacqueline. 
Jacqueline, Beatriz, we here? Brenda Dimas. I am homemaker and a, a housewife. Sorry, sorry. Erika, what do you do, Erika? Um, I am teacher. You are a teacher of second grade. Oh, second grade teacher. Wow, we are colleagues. <laughs> yeah. Do we have more teachers in this class? No? Okay. Gabriel, what do you do, Gabriel? Work at the air conditioning. Okay, air conditioner maintenance. Uh, but the uh, installer. In this case, is is construction of a duct for air conditioning. Ah. The, the fixing and the maintenance is is a, another area. Another area. Okay, so it's you are like in the installing part, installing air conditioning, sure. preparing the conditions to. Yes. All air conditioning, okay. Amalia, what do you do, Amalia? Yes, yes. Sewing machine operator. Sewing machine operator, okay. Heriberto? Yes. I am a contant. An accountant, oh, a person yeah. good with numbers. Daniela Ayala. Hi. Hi. Farmaker and and online. Can you repeat, please? Supermarket online. Ah, okay. You work in the supermarket. Oh, you own. You're a supermarket owner. Oh, that's great. No, only, only. Supermarket only. Online. Yes. Okay. Uh, Teacher. Are supervised supervise in the community. You are a supervisor in the community. Are super a supervisor. Supervisor. Okay. Are supervisor in the community. Okay. You do you work with the city hall with the city hall the alcaldía? No. No. Um, and health and salud. Ah, health. Mm -hmm. Ministry of Salud. Oh, with the Ministry of Health. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. Now you will uh, tell me about your family. You will write about what does each member of your family do? You're going to answer this question. This is my examples. My examples. My mom is a babysitter and cook because she takes care of my niece and she cooks. She makes tamales, she makes a head soup and yeah, different foods. Okay, my father is a truck driver. He travels around Central America from Guatemala to Panama, transporting different goods. My brother is a bank executive my sister-in-law is a bank loan officer. She's a bank loan officer. My sister is a call center agent. And my husband is an IT assistant, information technology assistant. So guys, you will do the same. Tell me about your family, your mom, your father, your brother, sisters, your husband, etc. okay? Please, you can, you can write it in your notebook, you can type it in the chat, or you can open your microphone and tell me about your family's jobs.
Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I had the first chat. My brother is a soldier. Ah, your brother in love your or your brothers. Plural or singular, it is? Teacher. Yes? Excuse me, you don't took my attendance because it was, my microphone it was mute. Yeah, I read your message, don't worry. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. my mom is a housewife. Good. My mom is a housewife two years ago. Okay. Okay. Nice. That's nice. <laughs> okay, housewife. My sister is a salesperson. Mm -hmm. okay. My brother is a brother in law. Yes, I know. But singular, plural. One brother or two or more brothers? Two brothers. Two brothers. Yes. So my brothers in law are, oh, okay. are soldiers. My father is a supervisor. My sister is a lawyer. You're missing the um, lawyer. My brother is a mechanic. My father is security guard, Jacqueline. Security guard or security person. My father is a briseida and net. No sé qué quiso poner con bike. Or baker, maybe. Bike is, I have puesto mi padre. Mi padre dice bike. So I, I need to clarify that. My mom is a housewife. My sister is a housewife. I work in the office. My mother is an entrepreneur. Nice. My dad is a farmer, Erika. Farmer. My husband is a compliant officer. Okay. My dad is a farmer. I my mom is security in a security guard in a shopping mall. Okay, my sister is a nurse. My sister is a secretary. Is a secretary. My second brother is a hotel manager. Nice. My sister is an English teacher. Nice, Jacqueline. She's she's she helps you with the English. My mom is, seems, is a seamstress. Nice, Fatima. My mother is a seamstress too, okay? Ana Julia, I need your mother to make me a dress. My dad is a farmer, okay? My father is a dentist. Good, Nanieli. My mom is a secretary. Carlos, no olvide ponerle el A or A. My mommy is a secretary. My sister is a call center agent. My brother-in-law is an accountant. An accountant. My wife is a plastic artist. My son is a call center agent. My brother is a business administrator. Gerardo, administrator. My brother is a police officer. My sister is a son. Okay, a vendor of cars. My husband is the machine of At accountants, accountants. Okay. Uh, my father and mother are farmers, okay? My sister is a has a degree in English. My sister has a degree in English. In that case, it's different. Porque dice que tiene un título. So, my sister has a degree. The same with your brother. My brother has a degree in mathematics. My father is a driver. My mom is a housewife. My brother is a kindergarten student. My mother, 
My brother is a cashier in a bank. My wife is an administrator. My sister is a secretary in the town hall. My brother, my brother job a packing company. I'm saying, okay, my brother, my brother's job is in a packing company or my brother works in a packing company in USA. My sister is a housewife. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay, the next, in the next slide, we have jobs and occupations. In this, in this activity, we have, or we are going to explain uh, what each person does in their jobs. For example, what does a teacher do? A teacher prepares classes, grades, exams, teaches in class, makes reports, etc. <coughs> a lot of work. So, because I say a teacher is singular, I use rem the S, right, at the end of the verb. A teacher <laughs> classes, grades, exam, teach, and makes reports. Now, what does a cashier do? What is a cashier? Takes the money. Okay. Uh, a cashier. Takes the money. Oh, make factory. Gives you the price, right? Okay, guys. I would like to do this as homework because I want to cover the next topic. So maybe you can do this as homework and during the weekend, you can send in WhatsApp group the activities that each of five jobs. I have here cashier, secretary, cook, waiter or waitress, doctor and nurse. But you can change. You can choose five jobs that you want. You can choose the jobs that you want. I'm going to send this. This is my... And I will send this slide to your to the WhatsApp group so that you can do the homework. Do it as homework, okay? Or if you prefer, you can you could um uh, write about the activities that you do at work or that your family does at work. Okay. Yes. Good. Now remember that uh, for uh, WH questions, I'm just looking for something here I don't see. Okay, now we have it here. Excuse me, guys. So over here you can see. Um, I don't see you guys, I want to see you. I lost the screen. I lost the screen where I can see you. Well, anyways, the good thing is that you can see me. We have the WH question words, do and does, subject, verb, and complement. For example, what does she do? And where does your sister work? When does she start work? How does she get to work? What activities does she do at work? How often does she have vacation? So if you notice in all these questions, we have the WH word, how seniorly do or does, the subject, the verb in the base form, and the complement. Right, we have WH, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. Um, again, WH, auxiliary does, subject, verb, complement. So those are, or oh, that is the formula or the structure for WH questions. Okay, with these questions, I will also send you these questions. And what I want you to do, guys, is that 
tell me about one person in your family. It could be a he or a she, right? Could be your, your father, your brother, your sister, etc. But you will answer these questions about that person's job. Okay? Yes? No? Maybe? And well, now we are going to go over the next activity, the next slide. We have placement of adjectives. We have Richard and Stephanie's conversation. I need two volunteers to read, please. Hi, teacher. Uh, Christian, and who is it? Who said I? And uh, who said me, teacher? It was a girl. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but tell me your name because I don't know why, but I cannot see you in this moment. <coughs> <coughs> Así que solo diga, give, tell me your name, please. Hello. Hi, teacher. Yeah, I said Christian and the other person. Es que dicen yo, teacher, pero I don't know who is yo, who is me. Edith, okay, Edith, go ahead. Now let me share the screen. Mm -hmm. You can start now. Hey, Stephanie, I heard you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lakeham High School. How do you like it? It's fair. Yes, student author says, How are you with you? Not bad. I'm a fire fighter now, you know. <laughs> yes, but it's a very stressful job. And so many things, it's dangerous. It's dangerous, yes. Thank you, Christian and Edith. Okay, so as you can see in this in this um, conversation, they are talking about their jobs and they have like some questions, right? This is, or they, they say, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? This is an important question. How do you like it? How do you like it? How do you like your job? You can say it's great, it's fantastic, or you can say it's difficult, or it's stressful, okay? It's like giving your opinion about your job. So she says, it's great, the students are terrific. How are things with you? Another important question. How are things with you? What about you? Uh, and, she, and he says, Richard says, not bad. Not bad, not tan mal, not, not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting, yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's, dangerous so they are giving their opinions about their jobs so now you know right you know how to express your opinions about your jobs for example if i ask heriberto oh he has the camera off or oh, if i ask gabriel gabriel how do you like your job my job is it's very interesting. Okay, it's very interesting. Good, thank you. Uh, if I ask, uh, let's see, Daniela Ayala, how do you like your job? Hello, 
Daniel? Ayala? How do you yeah, like your job? You say it's interesting, it's difficult, it's stressful, it's exciting, it's fantastic, it's good. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. And now. Also, in this conversation, you can see that they are uh, using adjectives, right? For example, the students are terrific, subject, it's verb, it's adjective. Terrific. We have that society, subject, no, verb, it's adjective. It's but it's different it's here when it says, a it's a very stressful job. So we have first the adjective and then the noun. So placement of adjectives, we can use the adjectives in the two ways. You can use the, the subject, the verb to be, and the adjective. For example, a firefighter, a firefighter's job, firefighters, apostrophe S, a firefighter's job is dangerous. El trabajo de un bombero es peligroso. A doctor's job is stressful, but you need to put the apostrophe in the S. A doctor's job is stressful. So we have the verb to be plus the adjective. More examples. The students are terrific. That's exciting. Sometimes it's dangerous. So we use the verb to be. And also we have the other way in which we have the adjective and the noun. First the adjective and then the noun. Example, a firefighter has a dangerous job. A doctor has a stressful job. So over here, we don't use the verb to be, we use other verbs. In this case, the verb have, right? The verb have, and here we can we can have other examples. Oh, Gabriel, do you have a question? My question is: uh, when when I use a uh, be plus adjective, and when I use a uh, adjective plus noun? Well, when you want to use them. <laughs> There is no like, I mean, it's the way you want to say something. Es como usted lo quiera decir. I mean, there is not a rule. It's just the way you want to say. For example, you can say, uh, my job is very interesting. Teacher, una consulta. Excuse me. ¿Y, y cuál, es la, cuál es la diferencia? Este, el, el, ¿Qué hace la diferencia la postre? Ok, Arely, I will answer Gabriel's question first. So we don't get confused. Ok, my job is very interesting, Gabriel. If you notice, my job is very interesting. I'm talking about my job. And also I can say I have, I have an interesting job. So I'm saying the same, it's the same, but in a different way. So you decide how you want to say this. My job is very interesting. I have an interesting job. So maybe the difference is that uh, the, the emphasis is in the job. And in the second, the emphasis is me, right? I have an interest in My job is very interesting. Another example, is, let's see, uh, we can say, uh, his job is difficult. 
in the other way? How could how it could be in the other way? He has a difficult job. <coughs> exactly. He has a difficult job. That's it. I don't know, Gabriel, if now it's so clear. Can you see the difference? There is not a big difference. The meaning is the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, now Aureli, you were asking me about the apostrophe. Okay, in this case, instead of saying the job of the job of a firefighter is dangerous. Look at the job of a firefighter is dangerous. I can say a firefighter apostrophe s job is dangerous. It's the same. But if you notice, when I use the apostrophe for possession, uh, it's shorter. The expression is shorter. Instead of saying the job of a doctor is stressful, a doctor's job. So you put the, the apostrophe S in the owner and quien posee, who possess. For example, I can say my mother, how can I say the name of my mother? My mother's name? Exactly, my mother's name. How can I say the house of my parents? My parents' house? The house of my parents, exactly. My parents. Oh, in this case, parents is plural. It already has an S. So I don't put another S. I just put the apostrophe. My parents' house. Exactly. Possession. And I will write an example using the application of adjectives. My parents' house is big. My parents' house is big. Or I can say my parents, my parents, my parents, possession. What is the, what is the thing that I need to say? My parents have a Big house? Oh, exactly, a big house. Very nice. Well, we only have two minutes to finish the class. So um, um, it's time to finish the class. So in the next slide, there are some uh, exercises, but or more examples. For example, the happy girl, adjective plus noun, the girl is happy. We have the verb before the adjective. But you know how to use this, right? Remember in English, we first use the adjective and then the noun. For example, the blue car, the red hair, the black cell phone. So the adjective goes before the noun. We have more examples. Being a police officer is a dangerous job. It's a very stressful job. Pupusas are a popular dish in our country. So we have adjective and noun, adjective and noun, adjective before the noun. Yes, but we don't have more time. So we are going to continue next class on Monday. Okay, don't worry that we will continue working on this next Monday, okay? Just remember that we don't say the house beautiful, we say the beautiful house. We don't say the car expensive, we say the expensive car. Adjectives before? Okay, I had this exercise, but we don't have time, guys. It's already 9 p.m. 
But don't forget your homework. Do you remember your homework for the weekend? Do you remember the homework? Yes, yes. Okay, I sent in the WhatsApp group the slides <coughs> with the homework, okay? To write a description of the activities um, that the person does in, the, in their jobs and also write about one person in your family. Okay, it was a pleasure to be with you this evening and I hope to see you next Monday. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.